ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Hey guys, Kakarot1970 again. Once again, with some more new loot brought to me by my favorite online hobby store, Hobby Link Japan. So, if you want to buy any of the model kits featured in this video, links in the description down below. And unlike the last time where I picked up some model kits that I kinda always wanted but never got around to buying, today I got a few model kits that. I only really want it until recently. First up, the O. This is one of those designs that kind of grew on me. I never was that big of a fan of this massive, bulky mobile suit. The color was also kind of out there, but like I said, it definitely grew on me. But the funniest thing is probably the reason why I ended up getting this thing. So in Japan,、um, Certain stores will sell parts of model kits, and I picked up the beam rifle of the O for one of my hazels to use. So, for the past year now, I've had one of my hazels, the、uh, Hazel 2 with the tri booster pack and full armor to be specific, reminding me to finally pick up the O. I also really like that it has these arm units that, well, I wanted to say that were inspired by the Advanced Hazel's arm unit, depending on how you look at it. Because, well, in universe, the O probably got them from the Advanced Hazel, but in real life, the Advanced Hazel got it from the O. So it is cool to see that there is some connection being drawn with the Hazel's, because I always like it when the Hazel's are involved in things. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to building this thing. And also, this is a kit from 2002. But because the O is such a massive machine, and also when you like, look at the limbs, articulation isn't really why you're going to be buying this thing.、Uh, the one thing I'm just now curious about the most is how color accurate this thing is going to be. because... Older model kits didn't always have these small pieces molded together, and so far I've been doing a good job of keeping myself from spoiling myself until I'm actually opening up the box, because I have not opened this up yet. Then the next model kit is the Rigazi, and I don't remember in which list video I first featured the Rigazi, but I said that this thing. Typically gets a bad reputation because it's a competent machine that just had the bad luck of meeting more competent machines, and unfortunately, that was for me included. The Rigazi never really stood out to me that much.、Uh, I was always a big fan of the Jagan, they were the typical grunt mobile suit from Shars Counterattack, so of course, I really liked the Jagans. But the Rigazi just never really caught my attention. It was Yeah, a failed mass production version of the Zeta Gundam, and then especially with the back weapon system, always seemed like a really stupid idea, which, well, it is. But then when you look beyond that and just look at the Rigazi, the base unit, it's actually a really cool mass production machine. Just non transformable, perfectly fine as it is. And I think this probably would have looked really cool mass produced without the back weapon system. So, when I started thinking about it like that, I suddenly was like, actually, I want a model kit of this. And I've heard from a reliable source that apparently the master grade isn't quite that good. I am not giving this kit a thumbs up, I'm giving it a middle finger. So, yeah, picking up the high grade of the Rigazi definitely sounded like the best option to go with. Although the master, well, the unicorn version of the master grade did seriously improve upon the old master grade. But still, I am very much looking forward to building this thing, and this is from 2008, so this should be a pretty good high grade for a mobile suit that is, by all means, a pretty good mobile suit. Just again, the back weapon system wasn't the best idea. And then the last model kit I got is the extremely shiny 1100 scale Akatsuki Gundam, the full set with both the Owashi and the Shiranui pack. And my biggest concern with this, other than Mula Flaga looking like he wants to seduce me.
is how many seam lines are going to be on this thing because I do have quite some experience with the no great 100 scale Gundam, uh, Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny line and seam lines are a constant threat with those things although the Akatsuki Gundam is by design meant to be a plated kit well a plated mobile suit so at the very least there is that and just as with the O I haven't looked at any reviews of this I haven't opened the box yet so I am keeping myself in the dark on this and I'm very much looking forward to opening it up and finding it out for myself because this could either be extremely good or extremely bad I have looked at some of the action shots on the box and in terms of articulation, this is looking pretty good. So if the plating, or to be more precise, the positioning of the nub marks and the seam lines is also done well, this could be an extremely good high grade. And who knows, maybe even excuse the fact that this thing has not yet been made into a master grade. And there we go. That's all for this new loot video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below which one you want me to review first because honestly I'm looking forward to building all three of these equally much So then all that's left for me to do now is to give a big thank you to Hobbling Japan for sponsoring this video again links down below and as always a big thank you to the patreon supporters I hope all of you watching have a great day and I'll see you all next time